all right so in today's video i will tell you or i will show you some settings some good settings for med vr to watch movies in high quality so first of all first thing med vr is extraordinary video rendering software for movie watching experience it renders video so much nicely that you will get a lot of better colors and you, and you can really get maximum output from your tvs your televisions your desktop monitors laptops so just stick with me so first uh, in I will show you how to select or how to enable Met VR in MPC SC go to options and here in playback sorry in uh, uh, output direct show video select Met VR and press apply now again close this uh, media player and relaunch it and here and here you will see medvia now let's discuss some basic things about medvia first devices here you will find your connected or uh, connected monitor television any kind of display you have connected you will find it here samsung i have uh, right now monitor and this is my television right now i am connect i have a monitor connected with my cpu so First, here we find unknown, but you have to select your device tab. If your if your connection is over HDMI DVI, you should select digital monitor and TV. If you have projector with HDMI, select digital projector. If you have a processor or receiver connected through HDMI, then to your TV, then you should select receiver processor switch. If you have CRT monitor, or I mean if your connection is over VGA you should select crt monitor tv and projector with vga connection you should select crt projector now second thing is now double click on it now this is the best step if you are using television tv 4k oleds and led tvs with sony samsung any kind of brand select 10 bit or higher or keep it auto it's all on you Keep it auto or select 10 bit or higher if you use uh, now second thing display modes this is the most beneficial thing from medvia if you are using tv because tvs does support 24 hertz refresh rate for blu-ray playback without any kind of motion journals so if your maximum resolution of your tv is uh, full hd i mean 1080 p type 24 24 stands for 24 fps uh, 23.976 and 24 both will work equally if you if you type 23 it will also work with 24 if it uh, if you type 24 here it will also work with 23 so it's all on you but on monitors you cannot switch to these settings if your t if your television does support 4k hdr select pass through hdr to display and keep this option ticked do not untick this option now let medvia decide for your normal monitors now second thing is processing dental sync artifact removal image enhancements zoom control it's all on you keep them intact do not touch anything here because it really doesn't matter at all now second thing sorry third option is most important option here is scaling algorithms so chroma is all about colors in basic language is all about colors the higher setting you have the better output you will get on your televisions let me tell you one thing for medvia you need good gpu i mean good solid gpus you should minimum i'm using gt 1030 it's fucking fabulous gpu it can handle ngu highest medvia settings pretty nicely but if you are on gt7 series uh, cheap gpus or intel stock gpus your maximum limit would be spline and uh, zinc i don't know what call them just zinc and spline your your would be your maximum limit now second thing while changing settings in med vr into scaling algorithms for chroma always keep one thing in your mind that your rendering time always should be under here your rendering time always should be under 
35 और मैक्स टू मैक्स 38 मिली सेकेंड्स सो लेंथ सॉस इज वेरी नाइस इट्स रियली नाइस इट्स ऑप्शनल फॉर विद डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग यू विल गेट दिस ऑप्शन यू विल सी दिस ऑप्शन अनटेक्ट नाउ सेलेक्ट एस प्लाइन जेंग बिलेटरल वट एवर इट इज just consider one thing here that you should keep your rendering time under 38 milliseconds so it's all on you now here comes the uh, image downscaling what it is actually image downscaling is all about downscaling your image if you are playing a full hd video on a laptop 768 or hd tv 720p tv screen uh, you need downscaling so all video players struggles here they will give you little bit blurry image not so sharp not popping out everything is weak black levels everything is weak so image downscaling the basic here is cubic it's very light on your gpu so if you if you have cheaper gpus like a gt 710 gt 630 etc series a gt series below 10 you need cube you need max to max lens sauce that's it select cubic lens sauce as plain set my gt 1030 can really handle good strength so good amount of algorithms in image downscaling so i'm i have selected here 2d strength 100% highest all options ticked relax strength highest that's it now image upscaling it stands for if you are playing 720 content on your full hd display you will get a lot of pixelation minor pixelation blurry image not so much sharpness colors are pretty weak not so much saturation in colors so medvia really helps here so for upscaling billionaire dxva2 cubic lens or s plan zinc all options are all on you just keep ticking them keep exploring them and last one thing after all these settings according to your criteria select keep your rendering time in full screen mode under 38 or i would highly recommend 36 or 38 milliseconds because if your time is uh, getting over from 38 milliseconds you will get a lot of frame skips drop frames i mean and presentation glitches you are watching here because i am skipping this video that's why i'm getting drop frames but in continuous playback i won't get any kind of frame drops as you can see here so it's a short video about medvia settings it's all on you just keep exploring them and rendering time should be and must be under 38 milliseconds into full screen mode that's it thanks for watching